What's going on everybody? Donnie Weberg here for another install video. Today, we are installing the frame mounted highway pegs from Ciro 3D. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking and uh, debating on what I was gonna do as far as my highway pegs go. And um, I've sold a lot of the frame mounted highway pegs to a lot of tri-glide and free wheeler owners. And uh, I do have the engine guard and lower fairing uh, on my Rogue Glide 3. And I really didn't want to go down the same route I've had for years and years and years. Um, everybody that's had these have had nothing but good things to say about them. So I was like, might as well jump on board. Everybody else seems to be loving them. So today we'll be installing these. Now, the one thing I will have to say um, is it's gonna take a little, little thinking power because we're actually replacing one of the two mounts for your, for your rider floorboards. So we're really gonna have to, to look into it, um, what bolts are going where and things of that nature. Now, I have a spacer kit on my floorboards. So what I ended up having to do is ordering a bolt, actually I went to Ace Hardware and got a bolt that was an inch longer that would go into uh, one of these. And then I also had to get an inch spacer so I can still accommodate my floorboard extensions that I have. So let's get into the install. So here's the thing I wanted to show you too. Everything was, was awesomely packaged. Everything was wrapped up in foam and plastic and everything. And the, the powder coating on these things is unbelievable. What's really nice about this is there's going to be um, a three point pivot, I guess, adjustability um, on each side, which is really, really cool because you've got adjustments on here and then you'll have adjustments on the arms that go out and also adjustments here at the floorboard. Um, it's, it's really, really nice how you can move it around. I know some of the engine guard mounts, um, you really don't have that much movement that you can uh, do things with. So, as I said, I did have to order, um, not order, I, I keep saying order, I had to get another bolt from Ace Hardware and an inch spacer. And where this goes, this will be on the brake side. This will be going here. And this screw right here, this bolt right here, there's, it's not attached to anything um, other than the framework underneath the floorboard. This is your, your mount, your front mount for the floorboard right there. We're going to be removing this bracket and then this actually sits up in this nature. So with these uh, frame mount highway pegs, you're actually getting another bolt mount off that side, which you're, you're getting more stability here. So this is, this is the area because I have the spacer, um, spacer kit, extension kit, whatever you want to call it on my floorboards. I had to get an extra one of those. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna flip this up and we've got this bolt right here underneath the floorboard. Footboard, whatever you guys wanna call it. And then from there, I'll be taking this arm off right here. So pretty simple. Uh, you got an Allen wrench here. I'm, I can't really remember what it is. And then there's a, a 7 16 box wrench uh, for the nut that's on here as well. So it all works out fairly decently. Now there are some floorboards that Harley Davidson sells that will not work uh, with this floorboard highway peg. So on their website, they actually describe all of those um, floorboards or if there's a modification um, for something that you have to take care of as well. It's pretty simple. I mean, we're, we're talking about a couple bolts here and it's, uh, it's not really going too terribly bad. So I'll get this bolt that's not really holding anything on 
out of the way. So we got that removed. And now all we gotta do, I'm going to be able to use the, uh, the same bolt that came in my kit for the spacer kit. Get that through there. And then we also need to make sure we clean those threads up, put some more Loctite in it, and get this bolt started. So I got that one finger tight. Now I need to put this spacer and get that bolt finger threaded in there as well. All right, nice and tight. We got all these bolts, everything is hooked back up. Everything's good, floorboards resting down. Now all I gotta do is get this arm put on. What's nice about this area here is it's got a little notch and then it's got uh, teeth that go around and there's a little notch in here and the teeth. So as you get this put on here, you can pretty much, you got quite a bit of range to be able to move this around. Like a lot, a lot more than I was thinking. So there's where it stops at that point. And that's where it stops at that point. That's, that's a big movement there. So, go ahead and get some Loctite on this. And we'll start going to town. just snugged up for right now but basically what I did for mine is I've got the floorboard here this is an angle just a little bit up going towards that lower fairing you can adjust this to to any height that you want all right I got everything mounted up here everything's looking great I love how well the way I angled the clevis and everything it kind of runs that line of the lower fairing. So that turned out really, really well there. So looks nice. I love uh, the adjustability in these. You're able to, uh, again, pitch the, the foot peg, the clevis. You can change the clevis and the arm. You can change the arm. So you can have this in any configuration that you possibly can imagine to find a comfortable spot. So riding normally, we're sitting right here. Extended trips, I can do a heel toe, I can do a full foot, and I'm all still right here for the brake. So it all works out really well. I absolutely love garage floor yoga. One thing that I did learn uh, from doing the brake side, now that I'm on the the clutch side is to attach the clevis to the arm first. It just makes it a little easier trying to get in there with these lower fairings um, to tighten those up and make adjustments. That was kind of difficult. So I'm attaching, like I said, the clevis, which this part right here is the clevis, and getting that all attached, ready to, to go on to this side. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out to you is on these clevises, um, when you're putting them on, you want to make sure that the screw is in the upward side so you can make any adjustments to that lock spring. These are the only tools that I needed to use to put the uh, frame mounted highway pegs on. Sorry about that. 5 16th um, Allen key. Um, a quarter inch Allen key, three sixteenths Allen key, seven sixteenths uh, open-ended wrench, 
in blue Loctite and a 5 16 uh, ratchet bit. It's very, very simple to do. I've got all of them on now, or both of them, I should say. Really, really works out well. Yeah, I'm really liking them. Sat on it, feels very, very comfortable. I've got multiple, actually multiple positions uh, to place my feet in. So there you go. Zero 3D frame mounted adjustable highway peg kit. Um, it took me about an hour to get all these installed. Um, I think it would be quicker if I didn't have the spacer kit um, for my floorboards. But overall, I mean, the quality of the product is absolutely unbelievable. The, the machining of all the metal, the powder coating is awesome. Um, getting it, like I said before, getting it adjusted exactly the same on both sides will, will take a little bit of time, um, but literally it's, it's not that hard. Sit on it, see where your feet feel good on it. Again, I wanna thank Zero 3D uh, for uh, helping me out on this. Um, and actually, this is uh, one of the first things that uh, we're doing together. Um, so again, thank you for checking out another video. Um, if you haven't gotten highway pegs for your Rogue Glide 3 or your touring models for that matter, um, these will fit on all the touring models, the Tri-Glides, Freewheelers, Rogue Glide 3s, Rogue Glide, Street Glide, Road Kings. Um, so they've got, they've got the mounts for them all there. You can get black, you can get chrome, um, different, different peg mounts and stuff like that. These will actually incorporate with other uh, foot pegs as well, um, like Harley Davidson and uh, other companies for that matter. So again, thank you for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you could, please hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe uh, to my channel. The, everything is going, going bonkers right now. So um, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions on this, please drop a comment down in the, uh, in the comment section. Or you can email me uh, if you go to my page. I have my email address under my description. So again, be safe, be blessed, give more, peace.